Today we're going to look at the Quinn Weinman's pliers. Coming up next on The Old Farmer. I'm Scott Bain, they call me the old farmer. I've had these Harbor Freight Quinn nine inch linesman pliers for about six months. I had an old, old pair of x lite insulated linesman pliers that were only good for maybe 14 gauge wire. I got them back when I was in college back in the late 60s. I wanted to do some wiring in the garage and there are two important things I needed to consider. The first is I cannot find the X-Lite pliers, and secondly, they're too small to comfortably handle 12 gauge wire. I want to run 20 amp 110 volt circuits throughout the garage. I had a sub panel installed with 100 amp service and a 220 plug for the welder and a hardwired 220 volt for the battery charger for the car, which is a hybrid using both electric and traditional gas engines. I could have wired it myself, but at 70 years old, I hired Ion Electric Service to come out and put in the 220 service. I suggested that someone younger than the owner should come out because this job is for a young man. There would be some heavy crawling around in tight places to snake the power cables as needed all the way from the circuit breaker box to where the sub panel would be installed. These folks are the ones I use for maintaining the standby generator I have. If you're in the area, you might want to consider using them for your next job. But to be honest, there are a lot of good electric companies out there doing electrical work. I know of at least six in the mid-Michigan area that I would recommend. Ion is one of them. But for some of the wiring and building boxes, that's something I can do, at least in part. It depends on how much whoopee is still left in these old bones. So when they were on sale, I bought the 9-inch Quinn Linesman pliers to work with 12-gauge wiring. I've had them for about six months, and let's talk about what I think of these pliers. Currently, they're about $8 in January of 2021. I got them for a bit less. I don't remember the exact price, but they were on sale. I've used them for a while for some of my projects and so I know the good points and some of the deficiencies of the linesman pliers. For me, they do the job. They're a little on the big side for me, but only a smidgen. To be honest, if they were any smaller, I don't think they could handle 12 gauge as well as they do. One of the things I did not like coming right out of the bag is the Quinn did not have beveled edges. What does that mean? It means that if you're choking up on the pliers doing close-up work, the pliers just love to give you blood blisters by grabbing a bit of the old hide and pinching it to a very strong degree. So if you get a pair for yourself, take a steel file and bevel the edges just a smidgen. It does make a big difference by pushing the skin away from the pliers with the bevel instead of pinching the heck out of the old leather goods. Or if you don't want to bevel the edges, wear work gloves. I chose to bevel the edges. The Quinn can do several things. It's designed to cut wire. 12 gauge is no effort at all. They are designed to twist wires together for a wire nut, or as I call them, scotch locks. On the front, there are teeth for grabbing wire and doing things that are common for an electrician to do with wire. And behind this area is a flat part so that you can squeeze stranded wire together if need be. You know with stranded wire, there are often one or two wires that try to escape. Behind the hinge, there is a serrated portion that can be used to crimp a connector onto a wire. 
They are heavy duty enough to do the things it's designed to do and do them pretty good. I looked through the comments while making this video up at uh, Harbor Freight and I copied some of the comments for you. Here is the first one. This person gave a one star saying the blue handle, meaning the insulated part, came off the first day. I don't see this as a problem. They're on tight for me and should be this way continually until I lose these pliers. To be honest, Harbor Freight thinks it's all right having us be the test subjects for their products. So what if we can return something? It's a waste of time and adds cost to the process of going back to the store to have an exchange or refund. I don't think anyone likes this of Harbor Freight. The warranty should be used for an exception, not for testing out products in the field. The next review gives two stars. It says, not good. These pliers have a great feel to them, but I failed to notice the fine print reading that the handle is not insulated. Linesman pliers need to have insulated handles. Charge a couple of bucks more and insulate the handle, or don't market them as linesman's pliers. I put a voltmeter on the pliers using a battery charger. Granted, it was only 12 volts at 10 amps, but it did show that the handles are insulated at least to 12 volts. If you're working with wires that have high voltage, I would test to see if the insulation will hold against the voltage. What I think is happening is that Harbor Freight is too cheap to do the testing to certify the insulation. So by saying the pliers are not insulated, any shock you get is your fault. It's hidden on the pliers and I cannot find it listed anywhere else. So use them as insulated pliers, but at your own risk. As a side note, do you know what the most expensive thing on an old push mower is? You have 30 seconds to guess. So what's the most expensive thing on an old push mower? It's the insurance. They have to protect themselves from those who do not use the mower properly. Harbor Freight is eliminating this level of insurance by saying that the Quinn Linesman pliers are not insulated, even though they are to some degree. This next review is not your typical review. It says three stars or five stars, depending on. If the teeth are like they are on my Quinns, they won't apply good torque. They need to have teeth like they have on the picture in the Quinn page. This is not accurate to my model. If you aren't buying these for that purpose, they're great. The next review has three stars, good price, not to par with Klein's. The main functions a linesman needs with these pliers is the ability to cut, grab, pinch, crimp, twist, and so on with one hand. My main test is whether I could open the pliers wide enough to cut number two insulated aluminum with one hand. It was doable, but was not as comfortable and easy as it is with Klein's. I think the main reason is Klein's have a 1 inch cutting edge and these Quinn's have a 3 quarter inch cutting edge. I also use these to cut number 2 ACSRs multiple times without damaging the cutting edge. For the price these make a good backup pair. Let's be fair. These pliers are designed to cut 12 gauge wire or similar purposes that fall within the range of use. This review changed the parameters of the design to meet his needs and then complained that they didn't meet specs. Just to be fair, I edited down the verbiage a bit on these reviews, but kept what they wanted to say. 
I remember back on the farm in my youth having a pair of linesman pliers that were bare-handled. It was all steel, and if I wanted to insulate, I would have to wrap them in electrical tape. My old x lite linesman pliers were standard quality for the time. The Quins are superior by several factors. I like the grip they have on wires. I can't beat the price, and if you're like me, if they're not bench tools, I can easily lose them. As for the several models of Klein's linesman pliers, I think I like the design of the Harbor Freight Quinn linesman pliers better. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Bame. Be well.